some uh, former colleagues and other friends. Here's a message from Dean Zimmerman, a little longer. <laughs> One of the many pleasures of the Syracuse department was Jose's inventive and amusing talk, his hilariously apt introductions of speakers, his wickedly funny questions and counterexamples, his highly original philosophical hypotheses. I'll never forget the party at which he proposed to me that Timothy Williamson's argument for the impossibility of uh, vagueness proved that God exists. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it would take a God to lay down the conventions needed to render our otherwise sloppy linguistic practices so determinate that all our truth of valuable sen sentences come out either true or false. Let me take the <laughs> Well, let me fill out the story. <laughs> This is a this is really big. <laughs> I discussed this. First of all, let me state the argument. <laughs> I discussed this with Williamson. And I'll tell you what his reply was. Remember, the key move of this was that it's not that God knows what the sharp line is between the rich and the not rich. I mean that's cheap stuff. <laughs> the real argument went this way, and I talked to Williamson, and I'll tell you his response, which, by the way, is very important to the literature in this area. Uh, the argument was, God wants to create human beings, uh, and they're going to be rational, realizes that uh, uh, bivalence has to obtain, uh, uh, realizes he's got that problem, of the, of the, uh, the rich and so on. There has to be a lie. And he flips a coin. By the way, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no reason for this. And the argument now is that God belongs... By the way, the reason is that I presented this to Zimmerman, by the way, who's a devout Christian, by the way. It's very important, by the way. <laughs> who's being uh, catering to him, by the way. <laughs> so, by the way. So it's very important in this argument that part of the argument is that God, and this is by the relevant to Zimmerman, that God is part of our linguistic society, our community. And we have the doctrine, as Hilary Putnam mentioned, of experts. Right? <laughs> this, is very this is very technical stuff. I mean, this is <laughs> Okay, so this is technical stuff. Um, 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 uh, uh, what was I? What was it? What's that? What did I just say? Expert. Expert. Oh, Putnam, Putnam's doctrine of experts. So it's this is why it was appealing to Zimmerman, you see, who was a praying to God and stuff. God, <laughs> see, not everyone in this audience <laughs> believes that God is in all linguistic uh, society, but he has to believe this. He could talk to God, and God could talk to him. So the point was, God belongs to our linguistic society. We, of course, will accept. Well, we need the sharp color point. It will be whatever God says. You see. Now, we might even believe God is doing it because of wisdom. But according to the theory, that's not it at all. There isn't any wisdom here. So we're not talking about the mission creature. Okay. flips one of his coins. Okay, now, okay. I told this story to, to, um, to Williamson. And I told him in connection with being very dissatisfied with his own explanation about how it's, uh, about use. You know, his explanation as to what, what determines the sharp cutoff point. And I said, no, I think this is a better story. And this is what he said to me. Oh, that business about use and so on that I said in my book, I just said that for the pu philosophical public. <laughs> this is a very important, by the way, confession by a major <laughs> You people have been teaching this kind of thing and said, you know, this seems rather weak. He never believed in this. <laughs> this is Hokum, 
And by the way, he was rather attracted to this. <laughs> well, this view about the God story, well, you know, it's a lot better than this one. <laughs> Alright, so the rest of these messages. <laughs> that was a typical brilliant better daddy idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> One that I could come up with a couple of those every few years. Jose tosses them out like candy at a parade. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs>